Help, Mr. Wizard. I'm falling, but can I get up? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Thursday's edition of Bubba's Daily Update. It is Thursday, the 8th of July. And this update is brought to you by our friends and partners at the CTG Group. Uh, and of course, that's Capital Trading. And now, again, as I always tell you, we have other brokers, but CTG is for our money, the best for our automated, not automatic, but letter of direction type trading. And they do a great job. They do, they do, do the uh, executions on time. And they help our members and they do uh, make phone calls and you can get a hold of them anytime you need to. So that is always a great thing to have when you're using a broker. In the meantime, they also do all my accounts and have some great managed futures products. If you'd like more information, go to info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. That's info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. In the meantime, the markets are getting waxed. Now they've come back significantly from where they were earlier. Right now, and we're long across the board, so you know, Dow's down 378, NASDAQ down 173, S&P down 55, and the Russell down 350. Uh, <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, gold and silver, for the third day in a row, are making a run attempt, but like Dolly Parton saying, here we go again, it doesn't appear like they want to break out to the upside. At this point, I don't believe they'd be a reversal. I think they'd still be short, and we still are short. Uh, gold is slightly higher, silver is lower. Uh, and platinum, which we don't trade because it's not liquid enough, is getting waxed. Uh, in the meantime, you've got uh, the dollar is under pressure today. Well, you know, again, it's going nothing but straight up, so you can expect to see uh, some sell-off. Um, the uh, crude is under a little bit of pressure, but it's been all over the place. I mean, it's actually, if, we, if I talk long enough, it might change back to positive. In the meantime, we are still long crude. Uh, the uh, natural gas is higher. Uh, copper is under pressure. So, and we're short, we're long gas, short copper. So that, that's obviously always a good situation. And bonds are charging again. But now bonds and notes, both were much higher and have given back significantly some of their gains. So again, and we'll see. This is going to be a battle between the bond traders and the Federal Reserve. Uh, and uh, as we look into the, uh, the the grain markets, you know, corn, they're all marginally lower to flat. Uh, you know, I don't see anything major. I mean, they are on what we would consider to be some pretty solid major support. And if they break from here, I would be concerned. We are still long corn, still long beans, and still short uh, uh, wheat and uh, Bitcoin is getting hit waxed again today. Now, look, when you look at it, it's 32,000. It's really been stuck between 30 and 35,000. I don't see anything to be either concerned or overly exuberant about here. Um, the meats, you've got uh, cattle slightly lower, hogs slightly higher, and feeders are down a little bit more, but they're, they're, they're all down marginally. Within you know a, a quick drift of uh, of of, uh, rail, of higher, and in the, in the softs, cotton is under pressure. We're short. Excuse me. We're long. Coffee is flat. We're short. Sugar is flat. We're long. Cocoa is lower. We are short. And OJ, which we reversed this morning, is higher, and we are now long. Uh, as I said, look, it, this this action sucks because it's in very quiet conditions. Okay, this is not a market that is meant to be active. It is a market that you have to be more patient than normal because you've got so many things going on with so little volume. All right. So I, I, what would normally be a nothing order turns out to be a big order that drives markets. So just be careful. That's, that's our words. Patience and discipline always win the day. And in the meantime, don't forget our other brokerage partner. Now, again, I have other equity brokers as well. But I can't be $10 a month with Trader. Uh, again, I, I don't know how anybody could not want to be paying 10 when you're paying a lot more now. And you can say, well, I don't pay more. Well, you're paying 65 cents a contract for options. So if you're trading options, you're paying a hell of a lot more than $10 a month. But in the meantime, that's up to you. Uh, but we do have their APIs, which allows us to automate our trading 
in our equity portfolios, if you choose, you don't have to, you can do it. You can get the software and not automate. You can go to Trader and automate. Everything is your decision. We don't force you to do anything and your costs do not change. The membership is the membership. It is including the software and the auto execution. If you want, if you don't want, that's fine too. The only charge we have for the execution or for the software is in the hedging because hedging is a class, not a membership. Uh, so again, it's up to you, but it's certainly I save about five figures a month on commissions using Trader. And of course, uh, our commodity report written by Andy Hecht. Look, if you're not reading, if you're trading commodities and not reading tech metal, go see a doctor because you're giving your money away when you can get it's probably the best analysis in the country right here at technomental at bubbatrading.com. And our partners at Family Farms, you know, you know, we have the same goals in mind. And of course, they've been fielding calls as well as I have. And of course, we want to make sure that we help our farmers do what is best for them because they're doing what is best for us, which is out doing the farming. And our high school program at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. Well, we'll see what happens. Tampa Bay wins the cup. Not a surprise. And we've got the uh, second game of the basketball. Look for Phoenix to uh, probably not cover. We would like, uh, we take Milwaukee here tonight, but, you know, I don't like the coach, don't like the team. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here again tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update.